Alright guys, welcome to Locked Within. I have no idea what this is about and I don't really want to know. But, um... I think this is a horror game. Or an alpha stage of a horror game, or... My name is Robert Len. I found myself waking up in this unknown area with no recollection of how I got here. Typical. I came with my two friends, Joseph and Mark. Although they are nowhere to be found, I made up my mind and I will go look for them. They didn't tell me where they are going, but I assume they want to look around the area. No, they did not. They did not go to look around the area. They are dead. And you're soon going to join them, because you're stupid and going to look for them. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I appreciate the loading screen, sort of, like, intro being a bit longer so you can read the story. But this is just extreme. It's a bit much. It's like a bit a minute and I barely started the game. It's almost enough for me to lose interest. Oh, god. No. Patient tends to be aggressive towards health and conversation. It is currently unknown what is causing these abstract imaginations of his. It goes to these places of his that he seems not to be able to forget. I tend to ask myself, does he want to forget? Dr. Ar Dr. Armick. And yes, he does want to forget. What's that? It's the book. Like, my mouse cursor is going outside the screen. It's really fucking annoying. Alright. I swear, if there is jump scares, I'm gonna fucking shit in the pants. Just so we are clear on that. Not that I'm wearing pants, but no. The idea is the same. Okay, good. Actually, I should not have said that. Okay. I'm unsure what to expect. Yep, scarce. Remember saying so what I Right, I'm not, ex I'm not entirely scared anymore, but um I mean a good jump scare can still get for me, I suppose. When I say good, I mean a real surprising one, so I'm like, ah Okay, I got a key. It's gonna be a jump scare now. I'm using way up. I'm using up my um flashlight way too much. Fuck no, I'm not going around here naked, I was about to say, but um without enough flashlight on, I refuse. I refuse. Why is that he always imagines places that have been haunting him for years? Well that's kind of the point. That's kind of what happens if you have memories that haunt you. You tend to overthink them. He simply does not want want the but I can't speak today. I'm sorry. He simply does not want to forget his past that is driving him into insanity. Or maybe he can't forget. Probably he can't forget. The trauma... Say... The traumatizing wounds in his mind is increasing the longer he believes he's in a place that he really isn't. I'm pretty sure there is a better way to say that. But I'm not entirely sure how. But I'm pretty sure it's a more articulate way to say that. I don't know. Uh, these illusions have to come to an end. Emek. Well, Dr. Emek, you seem like an asshole who doesn't know shit about psycholo psychologic. Psychologic. Oh, screens. Oh, nice. Right, oh. Crappy batteries. Seriously. Alright, I'm sorry. But why do people insist? Okay, I can't close it. Why do people insist on having batteries? Hmm, looks like I need to open the door and control the access to the computer. What? Why do people insist on having batteries that run out of, uh, like, use, run out of use so quickly? I mean, does batteries really do that? Because I have a flashlight. That fucking battery has lasted seriously forever. Like a year. More. Shit, I don't know what plus Oh, you fucking kidding me. <laughs> Fuck off. Is that a common reaction? I think it is. Don't run though, so... If he comes after me, I'm fucking screwed. 
That's what I'm saying. This aggressive patient comes after me, I'm screwed. It's gonna be so screwed. Actually, I'm kind of pissed off that everyone is um, I don't fucking know. You're not supposed to open the doors, I suppose? I don't know. I'm kinda pissed off that everyone is using insanity as a way to give scares to other people. That's the worst! <laughs> Holy shit. But yeah, I'm like pissed off that people always use insanity as a way or like a reasoning behind people acting or doing crazy stuff like I get that people are can be insane if you want to call it that or have a mental disorder but that's because you have a mental disorder doesn't equal that you're I mean harmful to others I mean there's certainly a risk but I know at least one person who has, or I know of a person who is suffers from schizophrenia. I want to say I know him as a friendly, like we're not friends or something like that. Um, but it's not like he. Um, he's not exactly like killing people, you know. He's not out in the streets killing people and. Going all hay shit on people, you know? Because with medication and therapeutic conversations, you can actually live a pretty normal life. It's just that it's stigmatized as hell. Like, I personally suffer from anxiety, so it's getting out of control. He now seems to be looking for these friends of his in which we can't seem to find any record of. Did he come up with these friends? I guess my father was correct. He really is insane. Fuck you. Oh. But you know. I suffer from anxiety. But I can still function fairly normal in an, an everyday situation. Um, it's just that, you know, new things. It takes a lot of willpower for me to um, go through with stuff. But I mean, I. I it's not like I'm. Uh, I'm gonna let that hold me back from doing stuff I want. That's when it becomes a problem when you stop doing the things you used to do because you're afraid of being judged or believe you can't do it. You know. Back to the game, though. It could do with a lot of work. I mean, the idea is pretty good, I suppose, but once again, with all in the sanity route, it's been done and done and done and done. I like it's such a cheap way to get scarce. Really, it just is. Well, I haven't seen any keys around there. Or up there, so I guess there aren't any keys there. So this is the last one. Before it's too late, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna go ogre booga ogre and kill you? Actually, that could probably happen. Oh, that's the wrong one. We're going here. Am I being chased by something? I don't think I am. Got run though, so. I might as well be chased by something. It's not like I could tell. Or... What, am I chased now? Okay. Good to know. Escape the area or be captured. Good to know. Oh fucking hell. Hello. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. 
Oh well, might as well wait. Glowing eyes, hi. <coughs> what? What? Okay, that was actually pretty good, but... Oh, let me guess, I am the crazy person. A man looks within his mind, unable to escape the horrors of his past. We are unable to say if he is aggressive or not, since he has just arrived at the hospital. He suffers from brain trauma after being shot in the head and surviving. The side effects are constant days where he imagines reality as an illusion of his mind. Robert told us that he feels like he is in a World War II facility, where he always sees his dead friends and wakes up in the bunker every morning. Repeating the same day over and over again. Currently, we don't know what we're going to do with them. Since the gunshot to the head can be near impossible to fix, we will do our best. Oh shit. So, I am insane. Once again, pretty normal. A pretty. Oh, hello? Hello? What the fuck am I gonna do with you? Oh shit, shit 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 Oh, I was captured. Okay, so that was the game. Um, it need work, probably. I can already tell that, but I mean... Was it too bad? Could definitely use some sounds though, because it wasn't scary at all without the sounds. But anyway, I'll see you in the next episode of Devitis I Make. Bye for now.